hace un ataque aéreo a este sitio. So today we are in the city of Nish, Serbia, here on the Nishaba River and it's the third largest city in Serbia, a population of about 183,000 as of 2022. A uh, little bit of history, it was originally called Nisus, I think I'm saying that right, uh, as a Roman settlement in the, from the first century CE. And since then, uh, it's changed hands between Byzantines, Slavs, and Ottomans throughout the centuries. Uh, it's the birthplace of the Emperor Constantine the Great. Um, it was part of Yugoslavia uh, during the uh, 1940s, well, all the way back to the 20s, really, uh, up to uh, 19, the 1990s. And it was actually a, watch out, kids coming through. Uh, it was actually a very important technology hub in Yugoslavia during the, about the 60s through the 80s. In 1999, it was accidentally bombed by NATO forces during the Kosovo intervention, and actually several civilians were killed uh, tragically in that incident. So, a little bit of history for you. Um, it's a beautiful city, lots to do and see, so let's check it out. Okay, we're here in the park at Nish, uh, which is located in the site of the Nish Citadel fortress area by the river. And it's a beautiful place, a, an amazing green space to walk around. Um, there's a lot of people here um, out with their families, um, lots to do for kids as well as adults, and there's a lot of history as well. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely one of the main attractions of the city of Nish. And also, jazz is very popular here. Yeah, we saw some jazz musicians yesterday playing. Yeah. Inside the park, you can find ruins from Ottoman, Byzantine, and Roman empires. This is a monument to the victims of the 1999 NATO bombing.
The Skull Tower is a major attraction and niche, and it's made from the skulls of dead Serbian soldiers who were killed while fighting against the Ottoman Empire in 1809. There's a really cool Roman archaeological site there at Mediana, but it's closed Mondays and Tuesdays. And there's also a World War II concentration camp in Nish. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the restaurants and coffee shops in Nish. There's some pretty cool places to go out and eat. This street is called Tinker's Alley and it's actually the street on top of what was the old Ottoman Bazaar. There's a lot of really good restaurants and bars here. This little streetcar themed cafe had some cool decor and then some really good snack food as well as other drinks and beverages. Very affordable, just a couple of bucks per item, and a really cool ambiance. <laughs> this was a typical Serbian food restaurant, and it was amazing. It was a little pricier. In total, it cost both of us 25 US dollars. But we got a ton of food, it was amazing, and we had leftovers, so that's pretty awesome. Click like if you like this video, or click this like if you don't like. But subscribe because you're gonna love the next one. Ciao, ciao!